Okay, so we've got these cool parabolic lines that we're fishing. It's glass calm. We've changed our techniques a little bit, but we're going to show you why you need one of these. Dude, that's a big brown little spotty super clean cutty look at those orange fins we'll put him back catch his cousin got a bump Another one on the leech. So the flies that I've got on right now, I've got a kind of a hothead leech closest to my fly line. In the middle, I've got a Dialbach unweighted. And on the point, I've got a booby. He said booby. <laughs> A little smaller than the ones we were catching earlier. But just still wait. Just wait. Tasty. Okay, so here's what we're doing. This parabolic line is super cool. Um, I'm fishing a 10 foot six weight rod uh, for distance. I also have a really, really long leader on. So the idea behind the parabolic line is it's two different densities of, of line. It's a type three closest to the reel, a type five in the belly, and then a type three again close to the tip. So what happens is when you cast out, it creates a belly of fly line. And when you pull your flies through, it's gonna kind of pull them through different depth zones. So you're making sure you're covering a bunch of different depths. Um, Ideally, this is designed to be like a, a searching fly line, but I, I tend to use it quite a bit. My preferred method for this, I'll kind of show you how I have my leader set up. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but I've just got a very short butt section. I'm talking maybe five feet or so. 20 pound and 15 pound uh, fluorocarbon to a tippet ring. From the tippet ring, I'm running five feet of 3x fluorocarbon and I got myself hooked <laughs> so onto that I tie another piece of long fluorocarbon but I, I leave a section long enough to tie a tag end and this is where I put my heaviest fly in this case it's a little hot head jig leech um, super easy pattern just tie basically a woolly bugger on a hook with a on a jig hook with a slotted bead um, my next fly is going to be just something unweighted and simple. In this case, it's a little Dialbach, very basic, still water nymph, very effective. Caught a few on that one already. And then what makes it all work is on the final section of, of leader, I've got a buoyant fly. So this is where I would use a booby like this or a fab or something else that floats. So essentially what's happening is my leader is sweeping upward so this is is pretty high up in the water column when i strip it pulls it down and then it gradually rises back upward and what that does is it creates the opposite effect from jigging a fly because if you're jigging a fly you're pulling it quickly upward and then it falls back down in this type i'm pulling it quickly downward and then it gradually rises back up and when it's doing that it's also making the other two flies kind of rise with it. Now, as you can see again, with the heavy fly on the, on the very top and the buoyant fly on the point, it makes it so that my leader is pretty vertical. So as I do that, I, I just cast out as far as I can. Now, anyone who says you don't need to cast distance for fly fishing, try Stillwater. 
the further you can cast, the better. So you're going to want to cast out as far as you can. Let those, uh, the type 3, type 5, type 3 all get out. Let it kind of sink a little bit. And then you can play with your retrieve. Sometimes they like it fast. Sometimes they like it slow. But uh, today they like it a little bit of both. So that's the parabolic line. You'll see us fish it a little bit. That's it. Rainbow it looks like. So as you're retrieving this fly line, there's a little section of textured line that tells you that's where you do the hang. So as I'm stripping, I'm just going to take my rod and lift it to a 45 degree angle. And that little lift on your rod imparts some action on your flies that makes the fish go nuts. Like this one. Anyway, fish in the hang. Get the hang of it. Dad joke. Here's a hang eater. He ate the leech on the very top fly, which was which is closest to the bottom on this. So think of it as a vertical leader, but going the opposite way that you're norm you're used to. So anyway. Gone. Land them quick, they get away quick. <laughs> On the heavy leech. One of the things you'll notice on the new crest liner is we each have one of these nets. <laughs> We're not good at sharing. That guy's been eating good. So on this, sometimes you have to vary your retrieve quite a bit. On that one, I was kind of done uh, with my cast. I stripped it in really fast and then paused it. And this guy just trucked it right as soon as I paused it. So it's not all about just crawling your fly. And he screwed my leader up. <laughs> Poetic justice. And I do catch fish every once in a while when I don't have the camera in hand. But sometimes you will catch bigger ones. Woo! That's a toad. It's a get, heater. Get your parabolic lines. Link in the description. He's going. Most importantly, matching shirts. Ha 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 ha!